Hi there and welcome to Trespasser. This is Depressing Draws and we are in a beautiful island tropical paradise by the looks of it. Uh, there's the edge of uh, end of our plane I guess. You know that looks pretty small for a plane tail I guess but a little bit maybe a little I don't know it's like uh, I don't know how tall am I maybe six foot let's take, take a guess for it. I don't know maybe Anne is a tall woman who could say I think uh, oh, <laughs> something mysterious <laughs> seems to be occurring here. Yes, I fear that the island that we have landed on may well be haunted. Well, what can you say about that? But it's time to leave. On we go. I'm not going to mess around with any ghosts on this island, you know. It's bad enough that I've su somehow survived this plane crash, but now I have to be ha haunted by deadly ghostly doors. It's terrifying. I I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go. Um... And look around the environment, yes, although this seems to be a pretty angular island that we've landed on. I mean, you know, there must be some fairly odd volcanic, um, I don't know, uh, eruptions to have made this sort of landscape occur. Um, maybe some particularly jagged ice age glaciers during said ice age, I don't know. Uh peculiar and seems to be some sort of bizarre construction site here quite what they were building here I don't know I mean you know they're just building these enormous perfectly cubed concrete blocks you know BVC what does that stand for god only knows on we go uh, what are they building here I mean was it some sort of massive foundation, foundation for something maybe oh and is piping up there she agrees with me a foundation here <laughs> on we go and look a stick let's pick it up mmm Give that a little waggle. Yeah, that looks like a completely useless weapon. Uh, let's just test it on these paint cans. Yep, massively ineffectual. Fuck off, Plank. We can't be bothered doing with you. On we go, on we go. Just get a little lovely little vista here from the sea. Beautiful. We surely have stumbled upon a tropical paradise. Uh, time to make a move though there's no time to waste um, we've got to find a way off this island you know I what am I gonna survive on here there don't seem to be any sort of coconuts in these palm trees or anything and even if there were how would I crack them open I, I suppose I could smash them on a rock maybe I don't know I feel like this is gonna put my survival skills to the absolute limit uh, let's see what's over this ridge uh, a giant fall and uh, I'm just gonna point something out now yep that's our health badge health, uh, that's our health gauge right there uh, and we do have auto generating health can you believe that and frankly you know we're pretty well endowed Has wouldn't you agree somewhere. must be one of the offshore islands Coco's one of the sink and wet is maybe mmm absolutely huh. and we have a door in our way here, but never mind. We're going to get past that. Time to engage ramming speed. Hoo! Oof. Do some. We are the victor of that door. And, uh, hmm, seems to be like the construction workers have uh, set up an impromptu shooting gallery. So we're going to give that a little try. Six left. Hmm, yes. Look at this Heavier lovely... Heavier than I thought. Yes, look at this lovely revolver. Keep it steady. <laughs> well, we're not going to keep it too steady waving around like this, Anne, are we? So let's just uh, give it a try. Five. Ooh. Four. Yeah, crack shot. Two. Oh, well, out of ammo, but never mind. Chuck that away. Let's keep... Let's uh, pick Six you rounds. up as well. We'll see if we can finish off these final two little boxes here. Five. Four. Three. Well, I don't think I'll be winning any prizes at the fairground, but eight shots. that'll do me. I'm going to take this with me and also this lovely shotgun. I believe what we have here is a Spaz 12, are they called? And eight also left. the legendary Deagle. Oh, yeah. You know, look at that. I mean, you don't see many white Deagles in the wild, but, you know, I'm always grateful for a Deagle in a video game. Eight oh, shots. and I've just dropped it on the floor. Just time to scoop Eight that shots. up. Yeah, good one. And let's carry on. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Butterfingers, Anne. Eight shots. Gotta work on that grip. 
work on that grip technique. You never make it as a police officer with grip like that. Uh, oh, bollocks. <laughs> um, time to defeat this arbitrary puzzle here. I'm gonna somehow get... Oh, no! <laughs> I seem to have lodged that box in the air somehow, but never mind. Just drag you over here, Mr. Box. You... Start cooperating! No! No, you're not telling me you're not telling me where to go. I'm telling where you to go, Mr. Box. Get your ass over there. Yeah, do some. You and the door. I know you're in cahoots, but you're Ain't not gonna that. defeat me. I'm the intelligent human over here. Throw this over the gate so I don't lose it. Huh. Ramming speed! Uh, open door! Yes! In we go! We have made it through the tutorial maybe, part. Maybe if there's a phone line or a radio. Would you stop interrupting me, Anne? No. We have made it through the tutorial part of the game, uh, and we have still got our Ain't deagle left. with us, our legendary deagle. But before we go too much further, we, we must do something about this firing position. Now, as you know, this is the usual way you would hold a handgun, but if you are badass and uh, hard as nails as Anne is, you hold your gun like this. Boo yeah, we are now gangster style. On we go. I will not try swinging the baseball bat. That is a certain death sentence, a literal death sentence in this game, in as much as you will die if you use a melee weapon ever. Carrying on. Engine. Some kind of... Wait. International Genetic Technologies. That was the company from the dinosaur trial. The dinosaur the trial? trial? That old guy... John Hammond wrote a book. He said it was somewhere in Central America. My name is John Parker Hammond. Oh, God! I was born on March 14th, 1928. Oh, no. Oh, what? God. Where did this that... This is Site B. This is John Hammond's Lost World. Oh, shut up, Anne, would you, for a minute? Where did that voice come from? That was like God speaking to me from the heavens. Is Richard Hammond's... Richard Hammond? He's not the guy... <laughs> Oh god. Anyway, whatever the character's name is, I can't even bother to remember at the moment. Um, whatever that character's name, is he the voice of God? Must I have think been something in the memoir. A Nobel Prize or a financial empire waits somewhere in a darkened room, in a dirty, derelict building, somewhere in the Pacific. Yes, I foresee me talking over and being interrupted by a lot of the in-game in audio here, but never mind, carry on, carry on, and uh, oh look, it's another arbitrary block puzzle here. Uh, time to attempt to not get crushed by these boxes, uh, and we're just going to give these a little ram. Yes, that seems to have worked, well, maybe not beautifully, but certainly quick and dirty, as it were, uh, to see if we can retrieve our firearm here. Eight left. Good job. Chuck it over there, Anne, so we don't lose it. And yes, we have defeated this first jumpy puzzle. Eight shots. Well, not the first jumpy puzzle of the game, but certainly a jumpy puzzle. And oh man, he really did it. Brachiosaur, oldest of our recreations by 50 million years, the only true Jurassic native. Yeah, 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 whatever, Brachiosaur. Think you're so big and clever, you don't look so tough to me. Seven. Do some. Yeah, Five. baby. Food chain. Get used to it. Three. Oh, God, that was stuck Two. on the ground. Oops. Butterfingers or trigger finger, whatever you like. Anyway, showed you who's boss. Let's carry on. <laughs> Fucking Brachiosaur. Think you're so tough. You're nothing, nothing compared to me. I'm Anne, and I'm the biggest badass around. Watch me as I throw this rock at a box. Shit. Time to try again. Uh, can I pick that rock up? Yes, here we go. Yeah, watch them become physics-enabled objects as they collide with a rock. Carry on. Oh. No, try again. Yes, we have scaled that insurmountable height to carry on. Eight left. Just uh, retrieve our shotgun here, and I've got it in the most useful position that you could ever hold a shotgun, clearly. Uh, but 
here we go. Never mind. I'm just gonna try. I knew all along, this was a stupid idea. They're probably out drinking right now. Anne. And who? And talking about her imaginary friends there. Now continuing on, let's just try and position our shotgun in a feasibly usable position using our wonderful noodle arms. One of my favourite features of this game is literally our bendy twisty arms. It's just great. I wish it was a feature that was in mill games, although it would render most games uh, released today pretty much unplayable. But here we go. Here's one of our first enemies. It is a raptor. And I do like these guys. These guys are cool. Although I suppose that popular science has now shown that they would have had feathers in reality. But then mine. So that's what that feels like. Yeah, and we took him down with no trouble. You can do some, mate. You are not so tough for me, I guess. Bye. Get lost. And on we go. And another physics-based platform puzzle here. Jumping the technology, up the real trick of it is still in there. In a darkened room, in an empty building with a dirty floor, it waits. The flashpoint, the origin of Jurassic Park. Oh, and I wish that guy would stop having impromptu bloody voice odors. I mean, I don't actually care what he's got to say, you know. Huh. What are we here to do? Are we going to create our own little race of dinosaurs while we're here? No, we're just trying to survive. You know, we're just we're just trying to get off this hellhole, this godforsaken island full of dinosaurs. The forest this wild, this unknown, has not been seen by any human since the great hunters of the early Pliocene. Great. Uh, thanks for that. That really added to the experience. Brilliant. It's top banana um so as i was saying yeah we're trying to get off this old godforsaken island i don't want to be hanging around here there's nothing to eat here what else am i gonna do oh and we've got another velociraptor friend here come to say hello hey buddy you want some seven oh four, no two, oh no what's one. happening <laughs> oh god it's time to run i think stop clipping into me dinosaur oh god He's he's completely. What is Five happening? Shots. Where is he gone? Oh god, it's gone into slow motion or something. Three. Oh no! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh right. One. Do some. And we see that the truly evolved win the game, continuing on after that harrowing experience of having a Velociraptor land on our head. But at least he didn't hurt us too much. Uh, just to uh, have a good choice. A small theropod native to China and Mongolia. Pack hunter, quite vicious and quite intelligent. This was the place. This used to be just an urban myth. Oh dear, and I can see my in my commentary being interrupted quite a lot by here. As I was saying, we're going to have a gratuitous look at our health. Yes, all seems to be in good working order, as it were. Huh? Although I'm not actually expressly commenting on Anne's breasts, because uh, as we know, huh? uh, they don't do a lot unless you're lactating, and uh, I hope Anne isn't at the moment. Welcome to the city of tomorrow. Yep, looks brilliant, Anne. Let's press this button. Welcome to Site B an in-gen research facility. For centuries, mankind has wondered about the dinosaurs, the largest land animals ever to have lived. Now, thanks to breakthrough technology. How ironic, let's carry on. And here we go. We have completed the first section of Trespasser. We're just going to jump the fuck off this uh, bit here and we'll be in the second level. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.